Something huge just happened in AI. OpenAI quietly released an open source demo, it shows multiple AI agents working together. They handle airline support tasks in real time. Each AI agent performs one specific job, the demo runs locally with one command. It has a back end and a front end. Everything is modular and developer friendly, the agents handle flight changes and cancellations. One answers questions about baggage or planes, the live trace shows the agent steps. You see who controls what and when. It helps you debug agent behavior instantly, there are also built-in safety guardrails. They block inappropriate or off-topic questions. This demo teaches multi-agent architecture basics. It replaces one big prompt with orchestration. You can add your own AI agent, you can change the routing logic too. It's designed to be extendable and simple. The tools used are modern and fast, developers can now test serious AI workflows. But here's where things get interesting, OpenAI cut ties with Scale AI quietly. Meta bought 49% of that company. That made Scale a competitor by proxy, OpenAI didn't want shared data pipelines. So they started phasing Scale out. They now work with vendors like Mercor, Google is making similar changes too. Scale's founder joined Meta AI projects, even though Scale claims independence, doubts remain. Money creates influence, especially with competitors involved. Scale was built on contract labelers originally, now it needs skilled annotators for AI. That's exactly what OpenAI also requires. So OpenAI needs new, safer partnerships, meanwhile, Midjourney launched video generation tools. You upload one image to generate clips, it gives you four animated video samples. Each is about five seconds long. They are surreal and artistically stylized, it feels like Midjourney's dream-like visuals. You can extend the clips with clicks, they max out at 21 seconds. You can control animation motion and style, or let the system animate for you, the tool is available only in Discord. The pricing is steep for video generations. Each video counts 8x more than images, pro users get better rates and flexibility. Relaxed mode allows unlimited slow video creation, CEO David Holes hinted at bigger plans. They want real-time 3D digital environments soon. Like Unreal Engine, but entirely AI-generated, these plans sound ambitious but not impossible. However, lawsuits are now hitting Midjourney hard, Disney and Universal filed copyright infringement cases. Their models generated known characters like Vader. The lawsuits were filed before video launch, legal risks are rising for generative tools. But users seem happy with early results. Still, content regulation may be on horizon, now let's shift to YouTube updates. At Cannes, YouTube unveiled major AI plans, they're integrating Google's V3 into Shorts worldwide. This follows limited V2 tests in February. Now the tool will reach many creators, Shorts are already dominating mobile video consumption. They announced mind-blowing viewership statistics too, Shorts receive 200 billion daily video views. That's triple what it was last year. Long videos are also seeing strong growth, TV viewers prefer 60-minute or longer videos. More channels now succeed on living room screens. Auto-dubbing is helping creators go global fast. Over 20 million videos use AI dubbing. A billion people watch podcasts monthly now, shorts are ideal for reach and volume. Long-form content wins retention and watch time. Creators should optimize for both screen types, now for the most critical story, brains. MIT studied how AI affects cognitive activity, they tested three different writing support methods. One group used only their brains solo. Another used Google searches for information help, the third group wrote using Chad GPT assistance. All participants wore EEG caps while writing, they wrote essays on various complex topics. Subjects included ethics, choices, and modern issues. The GPT group showed the lowest brain activity, brainwaves related to memory and creativity dropped. Their essays were also rated the lowest. Teachers called their writing flat and similar. 
users just pasted prompts and clicked submit. There was little editing or personal expression, by contrast, the brain-only group was engaged. They reported higher satisfaction and ownership too. The Google group landed somewhere in between, but the real twist came in phase two. The Chad GPT group wrote essays without AI, they struggled to recall their past writing. Their memory formation was clearly disrupted beforehand. Meanwhile, the brain-only group now tried GPT, their eat activity actually increased with assistance. This shows the best method combines both, think first. Then refine using AI tools. It gives better writing and stronger cognition. I is a tool, not a brain, over-reliance might cause long-term mental effects. AI is transforming every digital industry today, AI systems shape education, work, and creativity. We use AI to write and speak. We let models decide things for us, this gives us power and new problems. We must stay alert and make choices. Technology isn't neutral, it rewires behavior, that's why we must learn to balance. Humans must lead, and AI must follow. This isn't just code. It's a future, we build it line by line daily. And it's only just getting started. iTools are changing modern work fast. Creative fields now use AI every day, AI models can support customer interactions well. Shorts dominate mobile video platforms like never. Data pipelines must stay secure and independent, video generation brings legal and creative risks. Humans must guide how AI evolves forward. Generative tools now power entire creative workflows, companies compete for top AI data talent. Training datasets define how models behave later. Open source tools teach future AI engineers, people should combine thought with smart assistants. Learning must remain active, not passive alone. Text generators still need human direction always, scripting with AI is faster but duller. Real creativity starts from human brain work. I shortens work, but weakens personal voice, writing improves when you think before prompting. Visual content needs both imagination and ethics. The AI race depends on strong foundations, guardrails matter for AI in public domains. OpenAI's new demo shows agent cooperation well. Smart routing makes agent work smooth and visible, each agent responds to one kind of task. No one AI handles everything, by design. This structure prevents errors and makes debugging easier, OpenAI's design hints at larger platform ambitions. Corporate partnerships shift as power balance changes. Training data access defines future AI strength, creators must adapt to changing AI platforms. YouTube pushes new models to mobile first. Short videos still lead global engagement stats, podcasts grow through multilingual AI subtitles now. YouTube celebrates its growth with new upgrades. Video generation demands more credit from users, Discord remains the only mid-journey access point. Animated clips blend fantasy and strange aesthetics. Mid-journey hints at future 3D simulation tools, legal pressures mount as copyright issues increase. Courts will decide how far models can go. MIT's research warns of cognitive trade-offs soon. Heavy AI use lowers brainwave engagement patterns. Memory retention suffers without real participation. Smart users balance thinking and assistance better, rewriting essays helps lock knowledge into memory. Creative freedom still needs original mental work. Shortcuts with AI come at mental cost, GPT is useful, but not always mindful. Educational systems must be cautious with automation. Policy needs science before classroom-wide AI rollout, even summary bots can misread original research. I hallucinations add fake facts confidently sometimes. Trust needs transparency, not blind model output, AI education must preserve deep understanding always. Shorts are reshaping how people consume video, multi-agent models reflect human team behavior patterns. Real-time collaboration between agents shows strong potential. I needs rules to act responsibly online, prompt engineering is key to agent control. Scaling models means scaling ethical responsibility too. 
Lawmakers study how AI affects human thought, creators balance speed, depth, and authenticity now. Each AI update shifts industry direction slightly. The race for attention favors short formats, TV viewership climbs thanks to long-form content. Autodubbing breaks language barriers in video globally. Tools like GPT assist, but also replace, AI can summarize, but may mislead too. Ethics guide which content models should generate. Digital platforms bet on AI production tools, OpenAI and Google compete over talent access. Midjourney expands into new media dimensions boldly. Litigation shapes what AI can legally produce, memory loss in AI users concerns researchers. Human-led creation still yields better engagement rates. Unsupervised models may fail without proper training, cognitive fatigue rises when relying on automation. People feel less ownership using AI directly. Hybrid workflows might be the future standard, future tools must balance freedom and constraint. Visual creators explore AI-enhanced cinematic style. Realism and surrealism now merge via algorithms, the AI wave is just beginning globally. Agents now replace complex support workflows easily, developers learn orchestration by studying OpenAI's release. More creators now explore mid-journey for motion. Legal outcomes may reshape future model access, generative platforms redefine roles in media production. Better prompts lead to smarter AI responses. New research reveals unexpected cognitive consequences rapidly, the balance between control and output matters.